Okay guys, what's for dinner tonight? I am making my mama's Sloppy Joes. This recipe has followed me for years and I love it. It's homemade, it's delicious, and it's not very hard to make at all. I'm going to put those on these delicious mini rolls here. I call them slider buns. Now, if you didn't see my video the other day, I will link it above and also in my description box down below on how to make these rolls right here. And it was really simple to make. Let's go ahead and get started. My sloppy joes are gonna be cooked all into one skillet. And then I'm also going to show you how I make my beans and we're gonna pair this with some tater tots. Okay, so the first thing, we're gonna saute up our vegetables. Now I'm using one green bell pepper and then I'm gonna use half of an onion here. Now you want nice chunks. So I'm just gonna slice these and then I'm gonna come back and then slice them the other way. And that's just gonna give us nice pieces there. Then I'm going to do my pepper here. Now I'm going to cut off all the sides. This is just a fast dice. That's it. We want to see the pieces as we're eating it. So I'm going to make nice slices here and then dice those. Okay, since sloppy joes cook really fast, I'm going to go ahead and get my oven going for my tater tots so they can start heating up. Because tater tots are going to cook a little bit longer than what our sloppy joes are going to cook. And also, we are going to doctor up some home style baked beans here. Oh my gosh, I've learned how to doctor up beans for my mom. So that's another recipe, okay guys, that we're going to do here in just a second. As soon as we start getting our peppers and onions sauteing, we're going to start putting these into a pot. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and turn my burner on to a medium high. This has one tablespoon of oil. This will help cook the onions. I'm going to add one tablespoon of butter to that. I don't know what it is, but when I put oil into a pan, I want to hear that sizzle before I add my vegetables in. <laughs> yes. Right, I'm going to go ahead now and add a little bit of salt and some pepper. Go ahead and start stirring that around. I want to get these nice and soft. Okay, so I'm actually going to be opening up 28 ounce size of baked beans here. Okay, we're going to doctor it up with some ketchup, about a quarter of a cup, about two tablespoons of some brown sugar, and about one or two teaspoons of mustard. All right, we're going to go ahead now and mix that up. All right, now that our peppers and onions are nice and softened, nice little brown on the onions there that'll add a nice flavor. We're going to go ahead and add our ground beef. Now I've got about a pound and a half there. I'm going to use my favorite tool in the kitchen, my meat chopper here. I'm going to break up my meat here all into tiny pieces. Now this meat chopper is an excellent tool in the kitchen. If you have any kind of ground meat that you're trying to cook and break up, it's good for like ground chicken, ground sausage, ground turkey, ground pork, ground beef right here. And all you do is you just push down on it and twist. Y'all, I will never go back to a wooden spoon. <laughs> Not after using this. Okay guys, what I'm gonna do is bring you back as soon as my meat is all nice and browned up. Okay, let's go ahead now and start adding all of our ingredients. One tablespoon of butter, one teaspoon of garlic, I'm going to put in 
half a cup of ketchup. Half a cup of water. I'm just going to put it in here so I can get some of that out of there. Okay, we're going to put in half a teaspoon of mustard. And one tablespoon, or a little over, brown sugar. All right, let's mix this all together. Oh, it smells so good. Simple and easy, you guys. I'm gonna take a spoon and try a little piece of it. Mm. That tastes delicious. We'll put this down to a medium low. Let this finish simmering for about 10 minutes until my tater tots are done in the oven and then my beans are finished cooking on the stove top. Okay, you guys, I'm going to take my little slider buns that I've made and just remember that I will link down the recipe for these homemade ones up above or down below in my description box for you guys. So what I'm going to do is just take a little serrated knife here, cut these in half. I'm going to butter them and then what we're going to do is just lightly toast them. So I'm just heating up a skillet here, and then I'm going to lay my buns that I have right here on top of here, where they will nicely toast. Now if you want to use bigger buns, that's totally fine. Make sure you toast them though, because that's what makes them so good. We're going to start off with some of the bottom of the slider buns here. All right, I'm going to add my sloppy joe mix here. hungry for that homemade sloppy joes doctored up baked beans and our crunchy crowns thanks so much for watching my show today on my mama's homemade sloppy joes if you're new to my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and that bell notification down below and y'all make sure you comment and leave me with a thumbs up i will see you on my next episode